One of WrestleMania's greatest collisions comes to its scintillating conclusion with Razor Ramon just managing to outlast Shawn Michaels, claiming possession of the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 10. The latter match would open the door for future classics, like the TLC and Money in the Bank matches as well, forever sealing its place in WrestleMania lore. Our next match is another legendary moment that will live forever as we head to WrestleMania 13. Rosemont, Illinois would play host to the most important night on the sports entertainment calendar. And on this night, a match that is the literal definition of an all-time classic unfolded. Bret Hart had been the face of WWE's new generation for years, proudly defending the WWE Championship against all comers and defending WWE's honor against its most heinous villains. After losing the WWE Championship to Shawn Michaels in WrestleMania 12's Iron Man match, the Hitman took some time off to consider his future options. When he returned, roughly six months later, there were drastic changes to the landscape of WWE's universe. Top among those was the rise of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The man who started the year off as Ted DiBiase's ringmaster would find freedom in his true identity, dropping his manager and finding superstardom in the wake of his 1996 King of the Ring tournament victory. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. WWE was trying to find its attitude, but the seeds of change were being planted in the fans who had rallied around Austin. His no-nonsense attitude had made him the ultimate anti-hero. This acceptance of someone who flaunted his breaking of the rules didn't sit right with the hitman. When Bret made his return, he immediately challenged Austin, who was more than ready to answer the call. The two battled at 1996's Survivor Series, where Hart won in a masterful performance of a feverish back-and-forth battle. The loss only made Austin angrier, creating a single focus for him, to ruin Bret Hart's career. He'd eliminate Hart from the 1997 Royal Rumble match after officials missed Hart first eliminate Austin. The night after Hart captured the WWE Championship at Final Four, Austin would interfere in Hart's first defense on Raw, ending the reign before it could even get started. WWE officials would pit the rivals against each other in a no disqualification submission match. The loser would be forced to admit they were defeated by the better combatant. To make sure that order would be maintained, a special referee was assigned. A heart had the edge in submission wrestling, Austin was no slouch in that department. And he also had one other thing going for him. His promise to the world that he would never in a million years give up. Once the match started, these two unleashed months of hatred on one another. We were lucky enough to talk to the rattlesnake himself, Stone Cold Steve Austin, to get his thoughts on this classic encounter. A lot of people think that the WrestleMania 13 match between myself and Bret the Hitman Hart is one of the best of all time. Certainly one of the best in all of WrestleMania. To me, it's a very special match uh, because everything happened so magically, and specifically WrestleMania 13 cemented the legacy of who and what Stone Cold Steve Austin was. From start to finish, we started it off, we brawled out, we came back into the ring, we brought various factors from around the ring into the ring to use against each other. Some of the stuff backfired on me. It was full of chills, thrills, and spills. I gotta call a spade a spade. I mean, it, it, it is my favorite all-time match, and I've been to some classics. Always an honor to get to pick the brain of one of WWE's top-level legends. Thank you again to Stone Cold for talking with us about WrestleMania 13. Now it's on you to try and find a way to take out WWE's toughest SOB. Remember, there are no disqualifications, so use whatever you can, and maybe you'll find a way to get him to surrender. I just wouldn't recommend messing with the referee. Shamrock's ankle lock is nasty.
Hart immediately showed why this match was perfect for him. Instead of just punching Austin's face, he'd attack Austin's legs instead. Bret wanted to make sure that his certain the submission opportunities would come. As the two continued to fight, the action would again return to
to rally the rattlesnake back to his feet one more time. Cut bad and now down again. Was there anything left in Stone Cold Steve Austin? Thank you.